Hello everyone, my name is Shelby. I go by Stitches by Shelby here on YouTube and also over on Instagram and welcome back for Floss Tube number 28. If you're new here, Floss Tube is the little corner of YouTube where we talk mostly about cross stitch. Sometimes I share other crafts as well, but it's mostly cross stitch. It has been quite a few weeks since my last video. Um, I was, I did not intend to take a break, but it's been probably six or seven weeks since I last posted. I just had a couple of busy weeks. They were very fun. Um, I'll tell you a little bit more about that in just a minute. But um, yeah, I had busy weeks and then I needed to recover from those busy weeks. But I am back and I am so excited to show you everything that I have worked on the past couple of weeks. Um, since my last video, I had celebrated my birthday. And for my birthday, I did something kind of fun. Well, I did something fun like personally, I went to Shed Aquarium and I got to meet a beluga whale. I'll put in pictures right there. I actually got to meet three beluga whales and I got to touch them and feed them. And it was the most magical experience of my entire life. So highly recommend. But stitch wise, I also did something kind of fun where I decided to do a week of new starts. Um, if you've been around for a little while, you might remember that I was doing no new starts for the first like three months of this year. And after my last video, I still hadn't started anything. I had ideas of things I wanted to start, but I had not actually started anything. So we have fixed that. I have many things to show you. So I'm just going to go through um, my birthday starts first, and then we'll get into like the regular floss too, because I also have some really exciting finishes to show you. Just have a lot. Um, so I'll start with day one, which was the Sunday of my birthday week. I started this little pattern um, by the Stitch Patterns, and it is Skull with a Burning Cigarette. It's based on a painting by Vincent Van Gogh. And uh, actually these little tiny full coverages were what sparked the idea to do a full week of new starts. I tend to put a lot of pressure on like special new starts like your birthday start or your new year start. So I was hoping that starting something, starting many things would kind of take away that pressure and it absolutely did, it was super fun. And anyway, so here's the first one. And I stitched it on 18 count Fiddler's Cloth Ada that you just, I just got it from Joann's. It's just like the Charles Craft brand. And I didn't finish it on the day. I got pretty close, but um, I actually finished this on the drive to Chicago. So that was my first one. And that's by the stitch patterns, if I didn't say that already. Um, the second day two new start that I had was the Monday. And I decided to start Ghost Stories by the Witchy Stitcher. Um, this came in the Trick or Treat box from the Black Needle Society last year. Um, I really wanted to start it then, but I, I, I restrained myself and I was able to start it this time. So this came as a complete kit. So I am stitching it on the Called For Fright Night Linen by Fortnite Fabrics. I am using all the Called For threads on this. And I had never worked with Fortnite Fabrics uh, fabric before, but it is beautiful to work with. I love it. That is showing up pretty true. It's a little warmer, I think, in person. But um, so I just started at the top. I'll show you on the pattern. So there's the pattern. And there's where I'm at. And this is just one day's worth of stitching. Now granted, it was like a short work day for me. So I was able to get quite a bit of progress. But I have not touched this one since. But I'm very much looking forward to getting back to it, especially as we get closer to like Halloween and stuff like that. But I just think this pattern is so cute. And um, it came with like the, it came with all the threads and some of them were over -dyed. Like this black is over -dyed. I don't know if it's coming across on camera, but like personally, I would probably have never purchased like a variegated floss for, for black. I just would have used DMC 310, but I love the dimension that it adds. So being spoiled. So that was my second start. My third start, so we're on to Tuesday now, I started this little pattern uh, from Wild Violet Cross Stitch. This was a freebie for newsletter subscribers and I am a newsletter subscriber, so I got this for free, but I believe it is now available for sale on her website on the same piece of fabric that my other start was. And uh, this is also a finish. I also finished this on the way down to Chicago or the way back from Chicago actually, but I just think this is the cutest, cutest little pattern. Um, I just love the little fox and the little crow and it's so it's stitched on 18 count fiddler's cloth ada and just the called for dmc's feeling very out of practice so bear with me it's been a minute since i've talked to a camera all right so then my fourth start which was on my actual birthday i started golden bees by owl forest embroidery hopefully you can see that 
Um, I have had this kit for quite a while. It came as a kit. The box is empty because it's in a project bag now, but um, I've had this kit for quite a while and I was waiting for like a good time to start it. So I decided to start it on my birthday and a few other people started it along with me because it was my golden birthday. And so I thought golden bees was very appropriate. And also it's like very summery feeling and we're finally getting close to, to warmer weather. Um, so let me show you how far I got. So I am just using all of the kit flosses and the kit fabric. So it's a 32 count something. Um, I don't really know what it is, but there is how far I got. So not a lot of progress. I did actually work on this another day too. So <laughs> it's a little bit pitiful, but I love this pattern and I am very excited to get back to it. I love the Owl Forest Embroidery flosses. I love how variegated they are. And um, I love how much detail is in this one. Like I love all those separate little motifs. It's been a long time since I've worked on something that's a little bit more like traditional style like this. And I really love it. Came with a matching needle minder. It came with everything. So that's Golden Bees by Owl Forest Embroidery. And I'm hoping to get back to that one sooner rather than later. All right, my fifth birthday start was another one of those tiny full coverage stitches. Um, this one is actually by Cross Stitch Obsession on Etsy. And I'll show you where I'm at. It doesn't really look like anything right now. It is Las Capigliata by Leonardo da Vinci. So I'll put in a picture right there. Um, you might recognize it because it is used as inspiration in the movie Ever After, which is one of my favorite movies. But here is how far I got on it. So it doesn't really look like anything right now. It's just a whole bunch of different shades of brown, but I'll get this back out soon and I think it'll be a pretty quick finish because it's just, just a little baby. Um, this is again on the 18 count Fiddler's Cloth Ada and that's all I have to say about it. But I just, I have another one of the full coverage ones. I hadn't started it yet, but, um, one of the little tiny full coverage ones. I just think they're so cute and they're really satisfying to stitch. Like I like stitching full coverage because you can kind of really like see the picture build, but the big ones take a very long time. So this is really satisfying to be able to get one in like a few stitchy sessions. So that was my fifth start. And I'm also using all of the called for DMZ for that as well. All right. And then my sixth and final start, I didn't start anything on the last day because I was kind of burned out on new starts, but my sixth fi and final start for my birthday week was Cast a Spell by Mama Witch Cross Stitch. I'll put in a picture right there. Um, I believe this one was a freebie as well on the Facebook group. So if you're not in the Mama Witch Cross Stitch Facebook group, I'll link it below and you absolutely should be because every once in a while she does freebies and they are all adorable and amazing and I can't wait to stitch all of them. So I finally started this one. I thought it was super cute and here is how far I got. Again, this is pretty pathetic because it was just one day's worth of stitching. Did have a little bit of the green in there as well. Um, and then that's the frog's hat. But I am super excited to get back to this one as well. I think that little grumpy frog is just the cutest thing ever and I have really been enjoying working on this. Well, I did on the one day that I worked on it. Um, I am stitching this on 36 count Bedrock by Be Stitch Me. Sorry, my cat is ready for dinner, so I might have to take a pause and take care of that. But, um, and I'm just using all the called for DMCs, but I'm very much looking forward to getting back to this one as well. So that was my week of birthday starts. Um, I will get into like the regularly scheduled floss tube in just a moment, but I'm going to pause and go feed my cat so that she stops crying. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. And also sorry if you can hear my cat crunching on her food now. Um, I did feed both my cats in case you were worried, but only one of them is like a problem child about it. So anyways, back to your regularly scheduled floss tube. Um, so I had two finishes in the past couple of weeks. And the first one is one that I think well, I was waiting for it for a long time. I'm assuming all of you were as well. I finished the bookcase by Galleon and Cross Stitch. <laughs> so I had started this at the very beginning of January last year, or at the very end of January last year, sorry, um, as part of the New Year bookcase stitch along that was hosted by X Stitch MD and formerly the Desert Stitcher, currently the Steadfast Stitcher. And I had just started with the bookshelf and I hadn't really like known what I wanted to do with the rest of it. And then a few months ago, inspiration struck and I decided I was gonna do a rainbow bookshelf. I have been working on this steadily since the beginning of this year and it is finally done. 
it doesn't look that big. I stitched this on 22 count white Ada that I just got at Michael's, um, but it is a pretty big pattern. It's like 200 something by like 280 something. So she's a big girl, but she is finally done. I am so excited. She's obviously not ironed, it's fine. Um, I love her. So I did stitch with two strands of floss over one on this. Um, one just felt, one strand just felt really light. And um, if you would like my DMC colors, I am happy to share them. Just send me either an email or a message on Instagram. Both will be linked down below. <sighs> I can't believe it's done. I think it looks so good. So give you some nice close-ups. Can't see what I'm showing you, so hopefully this looks okay. I just love the detail on the shelf and I don't know, it's just a very well charted design. So and it works and pattern keeper. That was important as well. So oh, I just love it. So yeah, I guess I don't really have a whole lot to say about this. This is, yeah, the bookcase by Galleon Cross Stitch. Um, this has been a very long-term project and I can't believe that it's finally finished, but I love how it came out. I am planning on just film or fr filming, framing this in a black 11 by 14 frame. Should fit really well in there. So yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. I put so much work into this past few months and not going to lie. I'm a little bit happy that it's done. I was getting a little burned out on it, but I was so close to a finish that I was like, I just got to go for it. So yeah, that was a good day. So that was my first finish. I remember at the beginning of like this year when I was doing my no new starts, I was like, yeah, so I'll have like a focus piece each month and I should be able to finish them. And that was January's and five months later, <laughs> it's just now finished, but uh, so worth it. The second one that I had, um, I don't even, I'm sure I showed it here, but I don't think I showed it on um, Instagram ever until like I had picked it up the second time, but it is Starry Cat Night by Lola Curl Cross Stitch. I started this last year for our my husband's and my anniversary, our fifth anniversary, and because uh, we went to go see like a Van Gogh exhibit in Chicago again, um, but I started this on the right down and had about like 300 stitches in it and had not touched it since. So since we're coming up to our next anniversary, I was like, I want to, I want to put some stitches into that. And turns out it was a very easy finish. I worked on it for like three or four days and it was finished. Uh, this is another smaller full coverage one. It's stitched on 14 count black Ada in all the called for DMCs. Also works in Pattern Keeper if you were curious. And I just think it looks so good. So obviously it has like starry night in the background and then a cat looking out the little window. Um, and in the cover image, it is like framed with like a pretty wide margin. So I think I, I think I want to do something like that, but we'll see. So that was an unexpected finish, but I'm very happy to cross another project off my list and get some stitches into something I hadn't worked on in quite a while. All right. I feel like there's another thing I'm supposed to be telling you about every project that I can't remember what it is, but I'm doing fabric and floss and pattern. So if I'm forgetting something, or if you have any questions about any of these projects, let me know. All right, so those are my finishes. I also had a couple of other new starts in addition to my six new starts for my birthday. It's fine, it's fine. This was actually my first new start post no new starts. Um, in my last video, I was mentioning how I was really wanting to start Huckleberry Farm by the Blue Flower and uh, Long Dog Stitcher, Jenny was like, you need to start that. So I listened, I did it, and I love it. So there's the cover image. Um, in case you don't remember, I had a retreat, my very first ever cross-stitch retreat. Ooh, speaking of which, I'm going to Stitch North. I'm going to the April weekend. Let me know if you're going. I know a few other floss tubers are going as well, but I am super excited. Um, I obviously live in Michigan, so Canada is like ridiculously close. The Stitch North is only like a five or six hour drive, but I have never been to Canada. So Canada, I'm coming. And let me know if you're gonna be there too, because I'd love to meet everybody. Um, anyway, sorry. I had my first ever cross stitch retreat and at that retreat, I was able to find the called for fabric. So it is stitched on 36 count shale, slate, slate. By Picture This Plus, here is where I got on it. And as always, this fabric shows up just terribly on camera. It is actually like a very nice light purple. It looks very gray on camera, but in reality it is purple. 
So I got, I started in the top left corner. So I got like one corner and then part of the mountain and the bear, the first bear. So far, I am just using all of the DMC substitutions for the fancy flosses. Um, I priced them out and I was just like, I didn't think I could justify it. So I'm just using the called for DMCs. Um, so far, I'm just using the ones provided by the designer. But it, if there's a point where I feel like the color isn't really like matching what I want, I might change them out. But so far, they're looking pretty good. So there's a couple of birds. This is one of those patterns where like you don't see all the little details until you're stitching it. So I just think it's super cute. So that was my first, well, I guess not my first new start, but another new start. And then I, my next new start is actually a stitch along by Caterpillar Cross Stitch. I had never done a Caterpillar Cross Stitch stitch along before. I had my eye on a couple, but I just never jumped on board. And so as part of my birthday present, my husband bought me the kit. And the first part came out on the 23rd, which was Monday, and I just stitched away and I finished it. So I think this is 32 count graceful gray, maybe? Uh, it was just included with the kit, so it's whatever the called for is. And then just the called for DMC is also included with the kit. And I did get the needle minder little cat. I think her name is Luna. So cute, love her. And so that is part one. So, um, I think it has like, I think it's a lot of words. So it'll be like words across with like little motifs in between, but this is all that's out so far. And now I have to wait until end of June for my next part. So I'm very excited to be participating in the stitch along. And you all know that Halloween is absolutely my favorite season. So I'm very excited to be getting some spooky stitching in. Um, and I just think this is going to be super, super cute. I know there is a stitched cat somewhere on here and I'm, I'm, Real excited for that. Now we are on to whips, works in progress. So a few parts of Wonders of the Night Sky, of the Wonders of the Night Sky Stitch Long by Climbing Goat Designs have come out since then. So I'll put in a picture because I'm not actually up to date of what the most current one looks like. But I did work on this again. Um, it is a big project, so I can kind of see through the fabric. So hopefully that's not weird. But um, so the fourth part I think was right in here and then like some stuff over here and I worked a little bit more on the borders I am just gonna do like a side every section now until it's done but that is the wonders of the night sky stitch along by climbing goat designs this goes through September um, and I am stitching this on 16 count black Ada with all of the called for DMCs. Um, I love how this project looks, but it is a little bit tedious to stitch on um, with all the back stitch and stuff like that, but I am still loving it. And it's huge. Can't wait for this one to be finished and up on my wall. Give you a little close up. So that was one of the projects that I worked on. I also worked on another Climbing Goat Designs. Um, this is their Galaxy Temperature Stitch Long, and um, I'm obviously doing it for this year. I'm not quite caught up, but I'm caught up through like Monday, I think, of this week, so I'm not doing too bad. I'm going to try to get back to catching up every Saturday. I kind of got away from that, but we're going to get back to it. So as you can see, we are getting some warmer weather here. We've had a few days in the high 80s. Um, and I think we'll maybe even get into 90 pretty soon here. So I'm a little bit worried. I know other people have told me that when they did like temperature projects, they have questioned their like color gradient the whole way through. But I think I set, I know I set my lowest temperature too high and I think I set my highest temperature too low. I wanted to make sure that like I hit those, but I think we're gonna have a warm summer and I'm gonna have a lot of the really darkest color in there, but it's fine. We'll learn for next year. So anyways, that's what it looks like. And I'm stitching this on 16 count black Ada as well. And I'm just using the color gradient provided by the designer. And for the most part, my degrees are every, my colors are every two degrees. So one color equals two degrees. There's a few exceptions in the cooler temperatures. And obviously when we get to the point where we're above 90, but for the most part, that's what it looks like. This pattern is extremely well done. Um, I feel like the designer did a great job of providing you all the resources that you need to be able to complete this. And um, yeah, I would highly recommend this. I 
I'm really enjoying it. My final cross stitch project, my final cross stitch project, I finally worked on Mini Contessa with Squid by Heaven and Earth Designs again. Uh, the original artwork is by Omar Ryan, but it is charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. And like I said, this is a mini. Um, if you're new here, you might not know that I had some trauma <laughs> with this project early in the year. I had made a mistake and I had to rip out several hundred stitches and in the process of doing that I cut through my fabric and I had to like repair the hole and at the end of that I was just like is this even worth it do I even want to cross stitch anymore it got a little dramatic but uh we've recovered and I've officially pulled this back out so I'm trying to get back I'll show you what I what I've been working on so um most of this stuff down here is new and I'm still working on filling up on the this is the third page down um, I am trying to get back to working on this like 30 minutes a day. I am not doing that perfectly, but I have put like a decent amount of time into this project since the last time you saw it. And I do love working on her. She's so worth it. Even though she makes me stressed sometimes. She's beautiful. And yeah. I think I'm at like 23 or 24% finished on this. But... I am doing this two over one, just the half stitch on 28 count Ivory Lugana. Obviously I'm using all the called for DMCs and yes, I'm using Pattern Keeper. I guess that's all I have to say about it. My needle minder is from House of Meng. Uh, they are on Facebook. I will link them down below. And yeah, feels really good to be working on this one again. I, I was ready. I missed her, even though she made me almost quit everything. She's back. That was my last cross stitch project, but my husband has been working on his cross stitch project recently. So this is actually one that we had started together. Um, this is, oh, let me put in a cover picture. This is Scarlet Witch by Abby Sue Designs. Um, and she just does like a bunch of like Disney Marvel themed ones. So there's a bunch on there that I like, but this was originally one that we were supposed to work on together. And just like the way the pattern is, I don't think this is a good one for us to work on together. And so my husband decided that he was going to take this on as his own project. And he has made quite a bit of progress. I think last time I showed you, there was just a few dozen orange stitches over here in her hair. So he finished her hair and her face. And now he's getting to the part where he can work on her outfit. This is stitched on 16 count uh, Woodland Halloween by Mountain Air Fabrics. And this is not coming across super color accurate. Again, it's a little warmer than it looks there, but I think he's doing a great job and I think he's liking it. So both of those are awesome things. And yeah, he's been putting a ton of time into it. We just did a uh, rewatch of all the Marvel movies. I mean, it took us like a couple of months. So but we just finished that. So he was working on this during that and now he's been working on it while we've been just watching other movies and TV and stuff. So that's awesome. So he wanted me to show you. So good job, hubby, <laughs> working on his cross stitch. <laughs> Okay, I realized that I forgot a whip. I'm so sorry. So I have been working on um, the Mill Hill Buttons and Beads Haunted Library. Sorry for the crinkles. That's what the cover image looks like. Um, I've been working on this. I started it last September and this has just been like my work project for quite a while. So it usually lives either at work or in my car, but I am getting relatively close to a finish. So I wanted to show you before that happens. So here is where I am at on haunted library. I'm stitching this on all of the kit stuff. It comes with the floss and the perforated paper and all the beads and everything. I haven't done any beading yet, but I am getting pretty close on it. So I think I'm just probably a couple more weeks away from a finish on this less if I work on it at home, which I might start doing because I'm so close. So I don't know if I've ever shown this like in person before, but I wanted to make sure I showed it today. So that is haunted library by Mill Hill. Okay. I do have like I said, a couple of knitting things to show you. Um, I have been working very diligently on my Smooth Stripes shawl. Uh, this is a Yarnspirations pattern. It is knit with the Karen Pantone bamboo like braids that came out a couple years ago. This is the Party Favor colorway. And um, I'll put in a picture of what the shawl is supposed to look like. It because this is really hard to show. So you started at, I started at the tip and I've just been working my way through. So I finished all of these stripies, which is where I was last time. And now I do one more like set of the color repeats, like we're at the beginning. And so I think I only have like three, 
more colors to go on this and then it'll be done and like I said this yarn is so soft and I love the colors it'll be a nice summer shawl um, I'm sure if any anybody works indoors with air conditioning you probably know that the temperature is very unpredictable so I'm planning to keep this at work so I can just like pull it on when it gets a little too chilly for me and then take it off when I get warm again but anyways I do also have a Ravelry I don't think I've ever talked about that before my username is down below if you want to follow me on there I don't post super regularly but I do try to post like my finishes and stuff on there so yeah so that is the smooth stripes shawl by your inspirations I have also been working on a pair of socks for like forever now um, this is the infinitely adjustable sock pattern by Fairlight Fibers that is also a free pattern and um, I actually made some progress so I finished the leg and this is the heel so I need to like or this is the heel flap so I need to turn the heel and then I can start on like the foot of the sock but actual progress and this yarn is by Nomadic Yarns um, I don't know the name of the colorway I know that they have changed a lot of their color names um but they have an Etsy shop and I've used their yarn a few times and I really like it so that is my knitting update oh I do actually have one more small thing hang on my final knitting that I've done is a swatch for it's kind of crinkly because it's been thrown in a bag for a while now but uh this is a swatch for my next knitting project which I guess I can just talk about right now um so this is my plans so once I finish my smooth stripes shawl I will be starting the botanical tea by knititude um I'll put in a picture right here I am planning on making a few pattern adjustments to make it more like tank toppy rather than like a boxy t-shirt style but I just love that lace on the front and um just think it's super cute so I'm using true boo by lion brand that is a bamboo yarn and this color is called mushroom and it was on sale when I got it so extra bonus but so I'm planning on starting that as soon as I finish my shawl um I have been kind of on a knitting kick lately I'm trying really hard not to just like buy a bunch of patterns buy a bunch of yarn and everything but um knititude's patterns are very inspiring to me I have quite the wish list so I hope to work through that in the next couple of months but I thought it'd be nice to kind of knit something that was seasonal and like I could actually wear the summer if I finish it so that is my knitting plans my cross stitch plans um still pretty loosey-goosey I want to get back to the 30 minutes a day on squid lady I've been working on trying to do that again not doing it perfectly but I just want to keep her in the rotation um I would also really like to touch some of my projects that I haven't touched in a while. I have a couple of projects now that I'm coming up on pretty close to a year since I've touched. I'm hoping that in June I can put some time into those projects that I haven't touched in quite a while. So I have some big ones that I started like last April that I haven't seen any love in quite a while. So um, I'd like to get back to some of those. I will obviously be keeping on top of the Wonders of the Night Sky stitch along and the Touch of Magic stitch along. Um, and those are kind of my immediate plans. We can kind of segue into haul, but I did purchase the Supernatural Stitch Long by The Witchy Stitcher. So excited, so excited. Um, Cryptids is still up there. I decided to wait to hang it until I had both of them because I want to make sure, like I want to hang them together. So I want to make sure that they like fit well together. But um, so that's just going to sit on my shelf up there for the time being. But super excited that she's doing another stitch along and it's going to be a companion piece to Cryptids. So Ugh, just so excited um I have a few fabric options that I'm still debating maybe I can show you that next time the border for that does come out June 1st but I am waiting I think I'm waiting until like the cryptids start to come out or the sorry not the cryptids the the supernatural creatures start to come out and um I'll be working on the border as I go likely probably We'll see how that goes but I did that with the cryptids and it worked out great and it makes the border not feel terrible so those are kind of also plans um I do have a little bit more haul but if your haul's not your thing that's totally fine um if you would let me know in the comments let me know what you were working on while you watch this video I love reading those and hearing about them um and yeah I hope you all have a great day but if you want to see some haul I would love to show you some haul so supernatural stitch along uh, botanical tea and yarn. I did get one other digital pattern. It is a, another one of those tiny full coverages. It is called Parasite and I am drawing a blank on the designer so I will link that down below but it is based on the movie poster for the movie Parasite which is a fantastic movie if you haven't seen it. Um, 
so good so good uh the less you know going in the better but it is a very good movie and so i bought that as well i thought maybe i would start that during my birthday starts but i didn't so um now i just have my bag of stuff so i'm just gonna go through it um first thing well this isn't like no particular order but i had some birthday money so i bought this little felt snail kit uh by delilah iris it comes with the pre-cut felt pieces needle thread uh, stuffing everything you need to make a little felt snail. Um, I can open it up really quick. So there's all the pieces and the thread and extras and then all this is the stuffing. Um, I've been following a few people on Instagram lately who do like the felt stuffed animals and I've just been feeling really inspired. So I bought a little kit so that I didn't even have to cut out the pieces so that'll probably be like an evening project one of these days. Next up, in my last video, I mentioned that I really wanted to start The Collectors by Autumn Lane Stitchery, and Stitch by Liz on Instagram very kindly reached out and offered me to send, or offered to send me her copy since she wasn't going to use it, and so that came all the way from Australia, so thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I am extremely excited to start the, this, this Halloween. Um, very excited to have this pattern. Thank you. I also got my pre-order from Top Knot Stitcher for all of the um, Forbidden Fiber Marvel themed flosses. So here's what they look like. They're beautiful. And it comes with some of the patterns for them too. I got this like ages ago. I can't, I don't know. It's making me realize how long it's been since I filmed a video because I feel like I've had this for forever. But um, yep, they're, they, they're just gorgeous. And I'm glad that they come with little patterns too. It'll be fun to stitch those. Also received another Bird Crush Club. I think this is Maze um, by Lindy Stitches. This is the Lazuli Bunting. And that's what the pattern looks like. And these ones come with some extras. They come with stickers and they come with um, like a postcard of information. And they also come with the overdyed floss that is called for. So it's been a thread work so far and oh, that's beautiful green. I've only stitched one of the birds. I really want to start more of them. I'm trying to be good and work on like my whips, but feeling the, the call of the new starts. Um, also with my birthday money, I bought myself some new needle minders. So these are both from Ginger Stitch AU. Um, she has an Instagram and she does have an Etsy, but I've had these on my wish list, my Etsy wish list for forever. And I went to go buy them and I realized that like at some point she had changed her policies and she doesn't ship from Etsy to the United States anymore. So I was super disappointed because I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to be able to get those. But then I went on her Instagram and I found out that she actually has an Amazon shop from the United States. So these came super quickly, like next day. So I got little skeleton kitty and this one's probably gonna be hard to see, but it's a little vampire cat. They're so, so, so cute. Um, they're the perfect size and very happy to have them. Okay. Last piece of haul, um, I placed a rather substantial order with 123 Stitch, so I'm gonna go through that as well. Again, this was just, I had my birthday money, so uh, clearing out my wish list a little bit and prepping for projects that I would like to start this year. So first thing I got is um, a fat quarter of the chalkboard linen by Witchell. Um, 28 count. This is for the 31st Black Party by Hands On Design. I'll just put in a picture right there of what that's going to look like. Um, I've had the pattern for a while, but I was like debating. I thought maybe I'd stitch it on Ida, but I'm just going to go for it. Called for fabric. It's here. I'm ready. I'm going to start it this year. Um, I did get a few other pieces of fabric as well. Oh, no, they're stuck. Um, these I'm planning on using for bird crush clubs. I think I can fit two on each Piece. Yeah, I should definitely be able to fit two on each piece. So this is 32 count pastel lilac. Um, oh, this is not coming across well at all. It's a really, really pale purple, almost like a gray purple. You're not seeing it at all. Let me see if I have something white that I can put behind it. Um, maybe no you're not you can't see it sorry um it's just a really pale purple and i think this will be a great neutral for the birds and then i also got 32 count graceful gray 
Now I'm thinking Touch of Magic isn't on Graceful Gray, but it is on a gray is white art fabric, but this is by Witchell, so it can't be Graceful Gray. Unimportant. Really nice light gray, almost like a green blue gray kind of, but I think that'll be really nice for some of the birds as well. Um, I also got the 2022 Prairie Schooler Santa because look at those penguins. I love them. They are so cute. Oh gosh, I love them so much. I had to get it because of the penguins. So that is the only like pattern that I bought. I'm trying to focus really hard on kitting things up rather than buying new patterns because I have things I want to start. Got to kit them up. Um, I did get a couple of Mill Hill kits as well because, you know, I can't resist. Um, these are part of the new ones for the fall. So this is Batty. And this one is Spooky Cage. And I've done quite a few Mill Hill kits. I love them. Um, couldn't resist these. I also got some things. I got some stretcher bars and tacks because I have a Bargello project that I want to start. And um, I think what's holding me back is that I do not want to stitch in hand. It's on like, um, not plastic canvas, but like the needlepoint canvas. So it's kind of flexible and I just know it's going to kill my hands. I want to be able to use my stand. So I bought stretcher bars and tacks. So I should be able to do that. I also got, so now I just have a bunch of floss. I think that's the last thing in here. Yep. All of these um, are called for in, well, actually I don't think all of them are called for. The brown and this color, squash and molasses, are called for in the Autumn Town chart by Autumn Lane Stitchery. The red, I think, was a different one called for, but 123 Stitch didn't have it, so I just found a replacement. And 123 Stitch also did not have either of the silks that were called for, so I found some DMC like color variations that I think could potentially work. This one is called like Autumn Harvest or Fall Harvest or something. It's 4122. And so it has like brown and yellow and red and orange. And so I think this could potentially be a good one to just fill in there. It doesn't really like sub out any of the ones, but I just thought maybe it could work. And then this one I think is called Peanut Brittle. It is 4129. And this is like, uh, like a golden to green kind of color. And I actually think this is a pretty good replacement for one of the silks that was in there. So or that I couldn't get. So this will be just like for the variegated trees. Um, and then I think these three are for Stars Bright by Lindy Stitches. Putting a picture of that right there. Um, that'll be my anniversary start this year. So at the end of June, um, I will start that. I already have fabric for it. And some of the uh, called for flosses I'm just not gonna do, but I did want these ones. All right, so that is all my haul. Holy cow, this was probably a long video. I don't know, I had to do it in pieces, so um, maybe it wasn't, but I have a feeling it was probably a pretty long video and maybe sort of a hot mess, but thank you so much for sticking around. I'm sorry it was so long. I'm very happy to be back. I hope you are all doing well. Um, if you wouldn't mind uh, liking the video, if you enjoyed it, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you were working on during the video. And if you liked me and you wanna see more of my stuff, please subscribe. Um, means a lot and I love to have everybody following along. So if you have any questions or anything, um, feel free to leave a comment or reach out to me on Instagram. My Instagram and email are linked down below. I will also include names of all the patterns down below. And yeah, I think that's it. Hopefully it won't be another like two months before I see you, but have a great rest of your day and happy stitching. Bye.